Okay, guys, how we are doing today? Oh, so today I wanted to do a, just a, a quick, I haven't done a Facebook Live video in a while, so I decided, you know, to go ahead and uh, just get a video out uh, for the live comments. All right, guys? So look, tonight I just want to make a quick uh, video that <clears throat> I talked about earlier, right? About how your thoughts can create and uh, pretty much manifest your reality, right? So look, what I'm going to do, I am going to do something. It's, it may seem amazing to you, but it's very simple. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to predict your future with 100% accuracy. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to predict your future with 100% accuracy. Mark, how can you predict my future with 100% accuracy? It's very simple. Here's, here's I'm going to predict your future with 100% accuracy. First of all, we know that thought follows energy. Energy vibrates and it creates based on your perception. That's how your reality is. So here we go. I'm going to predict your future. Everybody watching this video, I'm going to predict your future with 100% accuracy. I'm not full psychic. I just know something about you that I can predict and tell what your future will be. Here it is. You ready? If you keep thinking, okay, guys, I'm back. It seems like I have a little bit of bad connection. But uh, let me finish. So I'm going to predict your future 100% accuracy. Look, if you keep thinking what you're thinking, you're going to keep doing what you're doing. And then you're going to keep getting what you're getting. Let me repeat that again. If you keep thinking what you're thinking, you're going to keep doing what you're doing. And you're going to keep getting what you're getting. That's your future right there. Right? Remember, thought follows energy okay or energy vice versa follows thought okay look at it let's look at it in another way look at it in this perspective when you were say you were when you were born you were born with these these yellow uh dark sunglasses okay and you're not aware that you have on these yellow dark sunglasses so i come along to you and i show you a piece of paper and i said hey look with enthusiasm i said hey look this paper is gold okay and you look to me, you look at me, you say, hey, what do you mean this paper is gold? This paper is yellow. It was yellow because you have what? You were born with those dark yellow sunglasses. So everything you see is a yellow color spectrum, even the paper. Even though the real reality of the paper is gold, even if you want to believe it's gold, you cannot believe it's gold. Because why? You have on these dark uh, yellow sunglasses and you're not, not even aware of it. But I'm here showing you, I'm saying, hey, look, look, the color is really gold. It's not yellow. So even if you want to believe me, you can't. The reason you can't believe me, so you look to me, you says, hey, what's wrong with you, Mark? Get your eyes examined. The color is gold. But here's what happens. What if you just take off those yellow, dark yellow sunglasses? What happens? And now you look, you see the color is gold. Okay? That's what deliberate creation is about. Showing you the color gold. That is what I'm here to do. To show you the color gold. To take off the perceptual illusion that you have within your mind of how things are supposed to be. Always remember this, guys. You gotta always remember this. Look. Perception is your reality. Each individual creates their own or his or her reality based on your perception. That's all reality really is. It's your perception of what you believe with attention and intention to be uh, that is your that's your reality okay and you must keep this in mind that your perception is reality see the the thing is this we were conditioned to learn backwards we are conditioned to learn backwards you were conditioned that struggle is normal so it becomes a part of your life and you think it's normal remember what I said earlier about your future if you keep what thinking what you're thinking guess what you're going to keep doing what you're doing, right? And guess what? You're going to keep getting what you're getting. What does that begins with? It begins with the thought. How does the subconscious mind comes in and creates it? Well, remember, attention. If you give anything your attention, your subconscious gives it the attention as well. Then you create what is known as the intention. What is the intention? The intention is basically the why I want it, the purpose for having it, how it makes me feel. That's the intention. The thought, 
attention, intention. In other words, attention and intention means focus. Thought is energy. Remember? Thought and energy and focus creates reality. So back to what I said. If you focus with energy and you think of something with energy and focus and you thought, it becomes your reality. That's how your subconscious mind comes into play because your subconscious mind will pick up your attention. They will focus on it and it will be a manifested part of you. So it's very easy, as you can see, how your thoughts can create your reality. So in other words, to make it very simple, guys, whatever you put your attention on with focus, but just focus just means with your thought energy, okay? That will manifest and that will create your reality, all right? So we must keep that, keep those in mind. So those are some, some tips just want to leave you with tonight that remember that. Yeah, hello, guys. Sorry, I didn't see the comments. I haven't done this Facebook Live in a while, but you guys are good. So remember that, guys, okay? Your focus will always be what? Focus will be the attention plus the intention. Your thought will be what? The energy. The attention will bring what? Your subconscious mind into play. Subconscious mind will do what? Create, okay? So uh, keep those in mind. So whatever you're thinking and focusing on with your dominant attention, it shall manifest and it shall become your reality. All right? Okay, guys, so always remember, focus on what you want, not what you do not want, because when you focus on what you do not want, you're attracting the very thing you're uh, resisting, so to speak. All right. So those are some quick, just quick tips. Just want to, you know, leave here because in the comment in the Facebook group, I had a lot of questions about thought energy, how it creates. Now you have an idea and a concept of how it works. And uh, you guys can implement it to work and to uh, focus on your desires. Okay, guys. Thank you.